Doomsday prepping, something people do in anticipation of the end of the world as we know it. Whether that happens following a catastrophic natural disaster, war, or an apocalyptic event such as zombies taking over, countless people have taken it upon themselves to get ready for said doomsday. And no, it's not just conspiracy theorists that are planning for the unthinkable. Several billionaires have reached deep, very deep into their pockets to make sure that they and their families are catered for should the world as we know it suddenly cease to exist. From simple one-level underground homes to the more elaborate that consist of several floors complete with aquaponic systems, swimming pools, golf courses, communication systems, and all of the other amenities the rich and famous need to get by, doomsday bunkers are a thing, and you're going to want to live in one whether doomsday comes or not. Billionaires, or the so-called 1% of the population, from all over the globe have started buying into the bunker concept as with their homes, cars, and other spending habits, they have spared absolutely no expense in preparing for the unthinkable, the end of the world. Some companies have even considered it a gap in the market and have started setting up small community-style bunkers ready to be inhabited at any given time. Let's take a look at a few of these doomsday bunkers, shall we? In South Dakota, a company called Vivos X Point has set up a whole village, if you will, of doomsday bunkers. Well, they haven't exactly set them up, so much as refurbished all 575 former military bunkers. The thing is, doomsday bunkers aren't exactly a new idea, it's just that the ones that were built up until a few years ago were bare cement caves stacked with tin food and a few other necessities. Not exactly the kind of place you want to hide out in, right? Enter Vivos, the company that saw a big gap in the market. They are setting the South Dakota site up to potentially become a survivalist community complete with a theater, classrooms, hydroponic gardens, a medical clinic, a spa, and a gym. Is it just us, or does this sound like something straight out of The Walking Dead? Let's hope Vivo has a top-notch security system planned for the site as well. The area will be able to accommodate up to 5,000 residents, and those who are able to buy into it can customize the interior of their little bunker at a cost between 25 and 200,000 US dollars. For clients looking for something further afield and a little more exclusive and luxurious, the company also offers a space in Germany called Europa One. It has been nicknamed a modern day Noah's Ark. Europa One has been carved out of solid bedrock and offers 34 private residences, each of which can survive a close-range nuclear explosion, a direct airline crash, severe flooding and earthquakes, not to mention a biological and chemical attack. We have to be honest, Europa One sounds like the way to go. Where do we sign? Well, you see the thing is, hiding out the end of times here is by invitation only. Those lucky enough to be invited to take up residence here will each have their pick of a home of at least 2,500 square feet. Of course, each home can easily be larger if the buyer has the budget. A 5,000 square foot bunker will set you back an estimated 5 million US dollars. But is it really that much for an ultra modern and incredibly safe place to call home when the earth itself might not be recognizable anymore? Those with a budget big enough definitely don't seem to think so. The units are sold as empty shells and the buyers can furnish them as they please. A few of the existing owners have already had amenities such as screening rooms, pools, and even gyms installed. While most of these units are still under construction, some of them have been fitted with marble, polished wood finishes, and leather upholstered furniture. Those invited to become a part of the Europa One community can even opt for a massive aquarium in their bedroom space filled with stunning tropical fish. Each chamber will also feature deluxe ensuite bathrooms and wet rooms, as well as a gourmet kitchen. Again, Europa One sounds like the way to go. As with the South Dakota site, Vivo planned this vast complex to have a community feel to it. Amongst others, Europa One has its own tram system, meaning residents would be able to travel between bunkers and visit the restaurants, theaters, and coffee shops planned into the complex. We told you, these bunkers are nothing like the old-fashioned bomb shelters you imagine, and if you think Europa One is mind-blowing, just wait until you see the last bunker on our list. Prepare to be amazed. Our next doomsday bunker is a little more exclusive and sits in Kansas. Survival Condo, built or revamped by Larry Hall, the two converted Atlas missile silos can double up as a second home, ready to be utilized at any time pre- or post-apocalyptic times, meaning whoever buys one has the opportunity to invest in an appreciating asset, as opposed to shelling out millions on an expense. Quite clever, don't you think? 
The survival condo has several different layouts, ranging from a 900 square foot half floor residence to a two level 3,600 square foot penthouse. The starting price is a little steep, but then again, 4.5 million US dollars for your family's future, safety, and ultimately survival doesn't really sound that steep, now does it? As with our first two bunkers, these two also come with a community feel in the sense that they will have access to a pool, general store, theater, bar, and even a library. However, if sharing your apocalyptic experience with strangers doesn't sound like your thing, you could always opt for the Oppidum in the Czech Republic. It is so grand it has been billed as the largest billionaire bunker in the world. We'll tell you more in just a bit. But before we tell you more, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Before we get to the final, the biggest, and the best bunker on our list, let's take a look at one more spectacular doomsday bunker. Situated in Poland sits a rather unusual bunker called Safe House. Unlike the other bunkers we've explored, Safe House actually sits above ground but was designed to withstand some incredible resistance. The top priority of this bunker was maximum security, hence its odd square shape. Having been designed as the first zombie-proof house, it takes the form of a concrete cube where parts of the exterior walls are movable. When the house opens up to the garden, the structure's eastern and western walls move towards the exterior fence to create a courtyard. After entering the gate to the compound, the home even has a safety zone before guests are allowed inside the house. Again, it's a little reminiscent of The Walking Dead. We bet our bottom dollar that they would have killed for something as well planned out and sophisticated as this place. It's really quite phenomenal though, isn't it? Kind of like the house version of Transformers. While the safe house might not have all the luxuries the other bunkers have, it is an amazing design and has some beautiful living spaces. Though even the safe house with its transformer walls is nothing compared to the Oppidum in the Czech Republic. This place is so high class, so exclusive, and so well planned out, you need an access code to view its website, which of course is where all the juicy information is kept. We can, however, tell you that the Oppidum was constructed over 10 years ago in a joint project between the former Soviet Union and Czechoslovakia, now the Czech Republic and Slovakia. The Czech government apparently teamed up with the Soviets in 1984 at the height of the Cold War to build this super secure bunker that can withstand everything from a nuclear attack to a natural disaster whilst keeping its occupants safe in the style to which they are accustomed to for up to 10 years. Smart. Just look at how long the COVID pandemic kept us all locked up in our homes. The site includes both an above ground estate and a 77,000 square foot underground component. While the final product will be built out to the owner's specifications, the initial renderings include an underground garden, swimming pool, spa, cinema, and wine vault. In total, this bunker sprawls over 323,000 square feet. The above ground level consists of a golf course, a helipad, and an automatic defense technology system. We might not have access to the highly secretive website, but reports here and there have stated that the living spaces within the Oppidum rival the world's finest five-star hotel suites with high-end furnishings and cutting-edge entertainment facilities. Best of all, living rooms and bedrooms feature virtual window panels that give the illusion of being in the outside world. Each of the rooms has its own ensuite bathroom complete with a whirlpool bath, rainfall shower, and double sinks. And of course, as hinted before, if the occupants find themselves yearning for greenery, they can relax in the subterranean garden, which features simulated natural light to mimic a sunny day above ground. Residents can also take a leisurely dip in the adjacent swimming pool or relax in the treatment spa. Other features include a library, a billiards room, a gym, and a climate-controlled wine cellar with space for thousands of bottles. While you and I might see the luxury amenities at these facilities as unnecessary, the developers argue that these features are critical to survival. One of the designers of such a luxurious bunker says that he designed these shelters as long-term living options, meaning a year or more. And we guess that if you put it like that, it does make a whole lot of sense.